Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to integrate admin template in our Laravel project. So first of all, let me just log into the admin. I'll click on login. Then I'll keep the admin email, then the password here. Then click login. So here you can see currently we are in the admin dashboard. So right now here we are going to integrate an admin template and the template we will integrate is this one. We are going to integrate this admin template. First of all, we need to download this template and I want you to use the same admin template as me because it will be easier for you to follow me. So right now I will give this name in the description so that you can also download the same template and in order to download this template we need to click over here this code button so i'll click on code and here you can see download zip option so i'll click on download zip and there you can see a download started over here so here you can see the download is complete so right now we'll just go to the downloads so let me just open a new tab and i'll go to the download option and here you can see the downloaded zip file so first of all let me just cut it from here so i'll right click then cut it from here and let's say we paste it over here in my new volume f and paste it here so this is a zip file so we need to first extract this so i'll just right click then click over here extract all then we we'll extract it in new volume f so here i'll right now click on extract there you can see it is extracting and the extract is complete so right now if we just go inside the template this is the extract template so if we now go inside the folder then here you can see index.html so every template starts with index file if we just double click over here it will open the template in the browser there you can see so right now we need to integrate this template in our laravel project so in order to do that first of all what we need to do is uh, let me just go to the template location and first of all, what we need to do is we need to copy every file and folder from here from this template on Ctrl C. We'll copy it and then we'll go to our e-commerce underscore project. This is our Laravel e-commerce project. And then we'll go to the public folder. So in the public folder, we're going to create a folder called admin CSS. So let me just right click over here, then click new file. And here you can see folder option and the folder name will be admin CSS. Okay, so we'll name it admin CSS, not admin, because uh, here in the URL we already have slash admin. So if we give uh, admin the folder name admin, then you will get some issue with the view. Okay, so we'll name it admin CSS. We'll go inside and whatever we just copied from here, we're going to paste it in the admin CSS. So we just paste it over here. We'll just right click and then click over here this paste option. And there you can see all the folder and file is paste over here. So right now, if we just open our code editor, then go to our public folder, there you can see we have one more new folder called admin CSS. And there you can see everything is over here. So right now, first of all, what we'll do is that, let me just go to the browser. And here you can see, we are getting these two admin and the logout button. So this view is coming from the index file. So let me just show you. Our URL name was slash admin slash dashboard. So we'll go to the core. Then if we go to the route, then web.php. Here you can see for this URL, we are calling the home controller index function. And our uh, home controller home controller index function is returning us this view admin.index, which is this one. If you go to the uh, resource, then views. In the views, we have the admin folder. And in the admin folder, we have the index files. Here you can see. So right now, what we are going to do is we are going to remove everything from here. And then we'll go to our public admin CSS folder. And in the admin CSS folder, you can see index.html. So we're going to copy everything from here from the index.html. So control A, then control C. And we're going to paste it over here in the admin index.blade.php over here okay so we'll paste it over here then save it and after that if we now refresh there you can see we are able to get the template but the css is not working because we have kept all the or oh, let me just show you if we go at the top and here you can see the href link over here we have given 
vn dot slash bootstrap slash css and if you go to the public folder all those css data vn dot js image everything is inside the admin css folder so we need to mention slash admin css before each a step so let me just select those or not this one this is a link so i'll select those those and those on as well and after it we'll give a slash then we're going to start here admin css slash and after that we'll go down and here again we'll give the admin css as well so we'll mention our here admin css slash and one more thing we need to do is that we need to mention the asset over here so let me just select those first i'll just select those on by on and after selecting those i'll give to second bracket then i say over here asset then to first bracket to single quotation and okay let me just give over here to second bracket like this and after that i'm just going to cut this from here then paste it over here cut this from here then paste it over here i'll just do it on by on so this may take any little bit time okay just wait patiently control x then control v only two more left control x control v and this is the last one for the css so control x and control v so after that we'll go down and we'll do the same for the js as well skip part so let me just select then I'll give over here to second bracket. Then I'll say here asset to first bracket to single quotation. Then to second bracket. And after this, we'll do the same thing just like before. Cut and paste. So we'll just cut it from here. Then paste it over here. And this is the last two so we are done so right now we'll save it and after saving it if we now go back to the browser then refresh there you can see everything looks proper right now and here if the image is missing that thing is okay let me just copy this mark stephen control c and i'll search over here control f control v here you can mark steven and before the image we need to mention the folder name which is admin css so let me just mention the asset over here first asset to first bracket to single quotation then to second bracket like this and let me just cut it from here i'm going to say here admin css slash this one save then refresh there you can see the image is back or is so we are able to see the admin template over here properly when the admin login so right now let's go and separate every section from here we'll separate the head section the sidebar and the body section yeah. so this will be really quick so we'll go back to the code and let's get the top and here it is the head section so let me just keep the uh, css in a different file so we'll just cut it from here and i'm going to save at the end of include to first bracket to single quotation we'll say here admin dot css so right now we'll go to our admin folder and in the admin folder we're going to create css.blade.php so i'll just right click over here on the folder then click new file and i'm going to say say here css.blade.php then control s save and we're going to paste the css code here and after it we go back and here this is the header section here you can see header section started from here so i'm going to cut it from here too at the end the header section ended i think over here you can see so i'll just cut it from here for those edges there you can see cut the header section if we save then if we now refresh there you can see there is no header section right now so let's go back and in the admin folder i'm going to create a new file and the file name will be header.net.php control s 
save we're going to paste the header section code so just save it and after that we'll go to english.break.php and here we're going to say at the end of include admin okay we need to give to single quotation we'll say here admin dot header and here you can see this is the sidebar part so let me just cut the sidebar from here so we'll just uh, start from here and the sidebar indent over here you can see sidebar navigation int so ctrl x and right now if we save then refresh here there you can see there is no sidebar so let's go back here we are going to say at the end of include admin dot sidebar and we need to give two single quotation here and after that we are going to create a sidebar dot dot php i'll click on admin folder click new file and i'm going to say here sidebar dot plain dot php control s then set and we are going to do is the code and after that only one thing is left and that is the body section so body section started from here so right now what we we'll do is that we will only keep this 3D uh, base content, page header and content to it and after that from this dashboard part we are going to copy every code so let's just go down and we will add the int and we are going to copy up until uh, footer section okay we will just also cut the footer section as well so control A and after that what we do is we are going to say over here okay but before that let me just give another div over here and here we are going to say at the top include to first bracket to single quotation we say here admin dot body so right now if we save then if we now refresh here okay admin dot body not found because we mentioned the admin dot body but we didn't create anything so let me just create the body.play.php so right now we click on this admin folder then click new file and what we will say here body.blade.php control s then save and we are going to paste the code from the body section then save it then if we now refresh and there you can see everything we are able to see over here properly so right now let's go back to the code and we will go to our we will go to our index.play.php and right now first of all what we need to do is that we need to have a logout button over here so that admin can log out so in the admin template we did not write the code for the admin to log out so for it let's go back to the code and we'll go to the header section since here against the logout option this is the header section so we'll go to our data.bay.php and we're going to remove a lot of things from here because a lot of things is unnecessary over here there you can see dark admin ad and the button right button which is basically this one so we'll only keep those and we'll remove this search and all those options from here so let's go back and from here we're going to remove the code so let me just go down you can see the French, this is the language section, English, German, so I'll remove it. Then if we now save, then refresh, there you can see of the logout option of what we are. So here what we are going to do is, instead of this anchor tag in this div, I'm going to copy and paste some code. So let me just go to the layouts, then navigation menu dot break dot PhD. Then from here, I will just copy this form. Control C and I'm going to paste it over here. I'll remove this X drop down link. And here I'm going to say input type equal to submit and we'll say here hello, it will be logout. If we now save and then refresh here, there you can see the logout button. If we click on logout, there you can see it to us to the home page so we are able to successfully integrate our admin template in our laravel project so right now in the next tutorial what we do is that we will add some category for our product so this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section 
Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.